Hey guys, if you've played the latest update to Halo Infinite, I'm sure you've wondered where all the new sandbox items are. We've had leaks of a new weapon and a new vehicle in the form of the Mutilator and Falcon, and yet neither of those came with this update. Well, there's actually a reasoning for why there's such a big absence of sandbox items in Halo Infinite, and it's something that I didn't know about until now. In November 2023, 343 lost their gameplay lead, and the responsibility of this person was to improve Halo Infinite's sandbox by delivering high quality gameplay from new weapons, vehicles, and equipment, and of course, the sandbox team is very important to Halo Infinite's identity, all of that stuff goes into that gameplay lead role, and 343 have been missing that role since November 2023. I can only imagine this is why we haven't seen anything new in regards to the sandbox since Season 5 and the repair field, but if we go deeper than that, we've not had a new weapon since the Bandit Rifle, and no, the Bandit Evo does not count. If we go beyond that, we haven't even had a new vehicle since Halo Infinite's launch. With the most recent update for Halo Infinite, we did receive the forklift, but that was more of an easter egg, not really a vehicle, and it's not one you're going to go into B. TV to be like, you know what, let's load up in the forklift. Although it would be super funny if a Pelican did drop a forklift in the middle of a BTB game. In terms of big roles that 343 are still missing, we have lead game designer that they posted seven months ago and audio director, which they posted three months ago. These two roles are very instrumental when it comes to anything sandbox related. I've even heard rumors that the reason the Falcon hasn't released yet is because they haven't done the audio for it. And that would go hand in hand with her not having an audio director. I do still think we are going to see the Falcon as that seems to keep getting updated and it would not make much sense for 343 to keep updating the Falcon if they weren't going to release it. We did also get the Pelican as a prop and forge, although you can't drive it, which does kind of suck. I am hoping we are going to get a drivable Pelican soon, as the Pelican in the campaign had plenty of animations. So honestly, 343 could just release that, and I'd be very happy. I definitely understand all the frustration from the Halo fans about the latest update. It really didn't feel like an update besides the new map, cross core shoulders, as well as the update to the main menu. For most Halo fans, an update needs to have a new weapon or a vehicle to get you excited. I'm still stunned we haven't seen a new weapon since the Bandit Rifle in March 2023. I think the sooner 343 fill out these lead game designer roles, the better. And honestly, at this point, the Falcon seems like 95% ready. At this stage, just get it out the door, 343. Just release it. Even give it the Wasp sound for all I care. Just get that out in the game. It would seriously do a lot of good. I do hope this video explains the absence of new weapons and vehicles, as 343 really can't do much without their sandbox lead. So I'm really hoping they get a new one soon. Now, very quickly, guys, I do need your help. There was a person on Instagram who was impersonating me by uploading all of my Halo shorts. I previously have never had an Instagram account for my Halo channel, but I do now. So if you guys could help me get up to like 100 followers on that, I'd really appreciate it. And I will start posting stuff on there as well. So huge thanks guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.